starts. Just thought I'd apologise for the current appearance. Seven o'clock in the morning, currently mucking out all of the stables. I actually have a photo shoot today with Pony Magazine, so I thought I'd show you a bit of the behind the scenes, what it's like on a shoot day. Um, so I woke up very early this morning, around five, to um, let all the animals out, feed them, that kind of thing. So at the moment I'm on to like mucking out, getting everywhere looking, spick and span. I tried to do as much sort of cleaning as I could um, yesterday, but there's still quite a few things that need to be done. So I need to make their hay nets for today because they're gonna be in their stables. Um, I let, again, I let them out really early because I wanted to make sure that they had some field time. Um, I'm at the moment mocking out, I'm um, in Joey's stable. I'm just wearing a, I think it's a stained t-shirt, so apologies about that. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of cleaning to do, and then once everything's clean, including Casper, I think I put his New Zealand on last night to try and keep him clean. He's got a few poo patches, so I think I'm going to have to give him a wash. Mickey's not looking too bad, he's looking pretty clean, he actually keeps himself pretty clean because what he does is he poos on one side of the stable, on the other side he lies down, so he never really lies in his poo, which is brilliant. Um, Casper can't quite say the same, so once I've marked the stables, cleaned all the horses, got them in, then it's time to get myself ready, you know, have a shower, <laughs> do my hair, do my makeup. So hopefully um, a little bit later I'll be looking a bit better than I am right now. When it's all about the race No turning back, too late Got my bones about to break Okay everybody, I'm now in my tack room, just getting everything ready. Um, so we've recently just built this, which is kind of like my helmet stand. Usually I have my helmets in all their little bags because I don't want them to get dusty, but because with the photo shoots, there are so many quick changes, um, obviously popping on a different helmet will definitely make it look like a different day on a different photo because for the Pony Mag photo shoots, today we're pretty much taking photos for a whole year of Pony Mag, if that makes sense. Um, so I am currently <laughs> just having a little bit of fun rearranging all of my helmets here. Uh, my Charles Owen helmets, they very kindly <laughs> gave me quite a few for filming a TikTok video and um, I wasn't expecting to keep them all. Obviously I haven't ke kept them all, just some of my favourites. Um, but I do have quite a few now because they were like, you know what, keep them, it's fine because they wanted photos of me and like the different coloured ones. So I feel kind of bad having this many helmets because obviously I only have one head, but it's quite nice having a selection, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so at the moment, I'm just kind of, yeah, taking them out of that bag so then when I do get changed, I can quickly, you know, see like, oh, there's the rose gold helmet. I need to wear that one, then I can just quickly pop it on. Um, so if I just put, pop these up here. Okay, so also, <laughs> here next to all the saddle pads I have some t-shirts and things a little selection I've got here because again we're gonna have to do lots of wardrobe changes I'm gonna have to get changed a lot so I kind of use the tack room as my changing room so I quickly whip in here get changed pop on a different t-shirt whip out Casper's got a different saddle pad on and then it's like go 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 get loads of photos so it's a very busy day we've got a lot to do today um just need to hide these bags because they're not in the best position um, but yeah, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more organised now. The stables are nice and clean. I think all I need to do next is clean the horses because again, as I said, Casper's not the cleanest right now. Alright, so I thought everything was going well until um, just had a little look at Joey and um, it's not been the best of weeks last week because he lost a shoe pretty much every other day. I had to have the farrier over, which was so embarrassing, but he's kind of going through a baby phase where he just wants to take his shoes off. Or he's been like frolicking around in the field, doesn't know where his legs are and just clips them off. So um, Joey still actually has all four shoes on, 
but one of them has gone a little bit wonky. I think a few nails have been lost, so that's not great, especially for the day of a photo shoot, Joey. Like, seriously? Um, so my incredible Farrier, I've just messaged him now, he's gonna be here in a few minutes, so I need to go and get Joey, pick out his hooves, and make sure he's ready for the Farrier, so it's been a busy morning. <laughs> Alright everybody, it's now a little bit later, Joey's got his shoe back on nicely, the farrier's gone, just doing some finishing touches, also you can probably see, um, since then I've also showered, done my hair, done my makeup, so I'm looking a little bit more ready for a photo shoot now. I'm currently just doing a little bit of sweeping, doing some finishing touches, the horses still haven't been like cleaned yet, but I think Pony do want some photos of me grooming and bathing them, so um, hopefully they don't mind that they're a little bit dirty still because we can take photos of that, but yeah, just got to finish off the sweeping now. After that, Team Pony arrived and we went straight into taking photos, um, this time showing a helmet that's supposed to be fitted incorrectly, and we had a lot of laughs. Your head. My head is a 56, but all I've done is I've taken the lining out. You might just want to, um, the, the silk isn't straight, so you can still... Maybe move it so it's... <laughs> Maybe it adds to the flavour, but it's not straight. <laughs> yeah. This is a very becoming look on you. <laughs> <laughs> Setting the new trends, guys. Okay, so okay. this is the... If you've got the chin strap done up, it's the chin strap picture. So yeah. I think you need to put... Just hold it. Uh, Wait, actually, yeah, that, there, that's fine. <laughs> so just tilt it so it's over your eyes. No, not your head. Oh yeah, well that's okay. You can use your head to... So yeah, if you tilt the hat, so it's... More like that. Yeah. It's quite obvious that doesn't fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really like sad face. Yeah. <laughs> Crying, so you have to do it. Lovely thing, you smile. <laughs> it was the sad face. You just turn that way a bit, so it's like, yeah, that's it. Slightly side on. Sun's come out. Yeah. So take a picture like, take a picture like that. Yeah. I would have rider. Yeah, it's like perched on there. <laughs> Can you get your thumbs like almost right in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice picture of the hat on the head. Lovely. And then if you turn that way a tiny bit, yeah, lovely. I oh, know that's something. You need to just tilt your head down a little tiny bit. That's back. Oh, yeah. Away from me. That's a free thought. Of, yeah. Smile and wave, Polly. We did have one where it was pulled out, didn't we? Yeah, we stick right, your tongue chin out. Strap. <laughs> one, one, there. If you undo the chin strap again and you're, you're doing, we've well, got your thumb under, under it. I can't even get my thumbs in there. No. All right, so we've just done some photos of me um, wearing one helmet that doesn't fit me, so I had a really long chin strap, it was too big, and then we also took some photos of a correctly fitting helmet. Um, so now we've done that, I've had a little bit of costume change, or outfit change, um, gone for the matchy matchy green, because uh, the next photos that we're gonna be taking is a pamper sesh of Joey's, so I've got my treat, it's time to go and grab him. That's just gonna be so sad now. What's happened there, Esme? Nikki managed to get through the gate. Went straight oh, into Joey's stable. <laughs> Mickey, you come in here. Not only do you escape, but you're going to eat your brother's hay. <laughs> come on, Michael. Yes. Hey, you snorted me. Hello. Does he have any scratches, Bob? Or itchy spots? Um, Mickey definitely does. I'm not so sure about Joey yet. 
So now we are finally actually getting some photos of the horses. So as I've said, this is the sort of Joey pamper session photos. Here we have Joe ticking off everything on the shot list to make sure we get all the photos that we need. Here I'm using a dandy brush and we're trying to get a photo of the dust actually being flicked off Joey's back because he was pretty dirty this particular day. So it did take a while for me to groom him. So we got a lot of photos of that. Here we were getting some spraying pics and Holly was also taking some behind the scenes videos for Pony Mag. Let's get one of Holly filming so everyone can learn from the master. Oh no, don't. <laughs> I'm just a weirdo with a tripod. Not even a tripod, a monopod. Go on, Holly. Yeah, you will do. You work for a Pony Mag soon. Yeah, you you know. need to own a horse, you know. <laughs> So that was actually us trying to persuade Holly to get another horse. So anyway, here I'm actually washing Joey's tail for the first time. I had a very strange method of using his tail to wash a little poo patch on his butt cheek, but you know, it worked. And then here's me actually running off deciding that I need to get a sponge. <laughs> so um, this I would not recommend, it's not very BHS, but um, this is the helicopter tail drying method as you can see Joey is such a chilled guy and then we also got some photos of me picking out Joey's hooves and also giving them a little brush out as well and then after that I had to do a bit of sweeping to make sure that the ground was all nice and clean so we also got some hoof oiling shots then after that to finish off the pamper session I brushed his mane through and also his forelock and I had to move him over to get some good angles which he's not the best with he was more preoccupied with his hay I believe um, but he is very cute, like he loves his forelock being brushed, he's just the sweetest little guy. Next we went into the arena and got some headshots of Joey, which one day might be on the cover, you never know. He also got a bit bored so um, started digging to Australia, which wasn't the best, so the sand school had a bit of a hole in after that which had to fill in. But anyway, he was actually so good for the headshots, he was so much better than the last photo shoot we did with Pony. So he's getting there, he's still young, he's sort of learning the YouTube life. We had Joe helping us to try and get him to pose for the camera, we also took some in his leather head collar so he's looking a little bit more smart um, but I think we put the green one back on later for the matchy matchy because so we're just getting headshots at the moment but look how photogenic he is he's just so handsome here he was looking at Joe and then he was like actually actually you know what nah I, I want to go back to my mum so he came back to me but oh he's just so cute like I could just watch him standing there for ages and then here here we go me giving him lots of cuddles lots of kisses lots of attention as you can see he just loves it guys he's just lapping up all of the attention from everybody um, lots of nose strokes lots of pats like oh he's just so gorgeous after Joey was such a good boy for his headshot photos, it was then time to take him back out into the field and hope that he stays clean, but his tail actually looks so white in this footage. Here you can tell that Mickey has no personal space because he walks straight into the photographer Lucy, so Lucy I apologise for that. Um, as you can see Casper still has his New Zealand rug on because um, he actually rolled last night in it, he got a little bit of a poo stain but luckily he did stay fairly clean and then this was so cute so literally every single day Mickey and Joey without a doubt will do some sort of mutual grooming together like this and it is the most adorable thing so we got plenty of photos doing that together because they are just like the best of friends then it was time for me to take some photos of me poo picking so i had a little bit of an outfit change again here joey was literally smelling the poo that i picked up which is a little bit nasty joey i'm not gonna lie mickey came for a little whiff as well um and then mickey decided that it would be a good idea to use me as a scratching post so it was just like rubbing his head against me so yeah we managed to get some photos of me poo picking casper just kind of was doing his own little thing um, out of the way, but it was cute to get some photos with Mickey and Joey actually there watching me group. Alright guys, I am now on outfit number four. We've just taken some photos of me doing some poo picking where Mickey and Joey came and said hello. Um, they always like to, you know, see what I'm up to. So um, anyway, I'm now here down at the bottom with the donkey. So we're just going to do some shots with them. Got a different top on as I've said. Toby here um, decided that you know, today would be a great day to roll in his stable and get covered in shavings. So I think we might just do headshots, but we'll see. 
We also spent a lot of time giving all of the donkeys some cuddles, kisses, head scratches because they just loved the attention. Oh. <laughs> it's a bird toilet. He wants his ear scratching. Oh, I quite enjoy it because they're kind of sitting on their back. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the lip going. <laughs> Look, oh, that bottom lip. <laughs> a bottom lip. Oh my goodness. Bruno's so happy. <laughs> Hey, when I first came, it wouldn't even come up to, like near us. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Was that good? Does he like it? Yeah, he loves it. He's, he probably loves it the most. We do both ears. Hey, you can't eat my. Ow! You can't eat my shoe. Oh, it's You've got some gloves. Yeah, they're like waxy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got a pair of gloves for the winter. Oh my god. Oh, I can feel the stuff. No wonder he likes it. Oh yeah, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, Holly, he loves you so much. They're very cute. Can they come home? Oh, we've got lots of lips. Having got many today. People. Look at them. I'll be out of focus because I was laughing so much. Oh, camera, be careful. <laughs> After that, we then had some lunch, and then it was time to get Joey tacked up. So we took some riding shots on him. Um, today I decided to go for the hunter green just because Joey's colour kind of is green so I thought that would be really cute to use. Also I have lots of matchy stuff for it too. You can kind of see Joey's got a bit of purple spray on one of his back legs because for some reason he's still a little bit baby legs and um, every now and again just um, clips himself so that's why I always boot him up at the moment when I'm riding him. Um, he also fell asleep in Holly's arms which was so adorable he's he's and um, <laughs> here's me peeking over his uh, very long neck and then it was time to ride so we've got loads of really cute photos of us doing lots of different exercises on the flat and he actually went really nicely he was a little bit more chilled today because he actually had um, quite a hard flat work session the day before but he was so well behaved he didn't put a hoof wrong especially with the photographer being there taking photos he just loved it I should get my breath back <laughs> he looks Honestly, I cannot tell you like the difference between three months ago Joey and today Joey. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good boy. As you can see by a very slobbery Joey, he did work very hard on this particular day. We also tried some flat work exercises that we had never done before, which was really good fun and really good for him as well. And he just tried his best, which was so lovely to see. It was also really nice to see how the people at Pony could see the difference um, within Joey within just six weeks. All right, guys, I've now had some lunch. Before that, we actually did some tack cleaning um, photos unfortunately we didn't get any footage of that but anyway now we're in the hunter green we're doing a bit of flat work with joey so i always like to do the riding sort of photos and clips at the end just because if not i get a bit sweaty and i get helmet hair so that's why i always do the riding now um, but he's being a very good boy he's a little bit more on the um slow lazy kind of potato side but he's working really hard when i ask him to and um, we're doing a few different like flat work exercises that i haven't actually done before um, but he's having a really good go at them we're having a lot of fun and getting some good photos <laughs> good boy and then lastly we finished up on taking some photos of Joey and I jumping which before this we hadn't actually done too much of just because me and my instructor had been really working on Joey's flat work and nailing that before jumping um, but he tried really hard and he actually jumped quite nicely in the end and yeah I'm just super proud of him he was so good with all of the cameras and everything and just was so well behaved unlike somebody else So you can now see why I do the riding at the end. I'm currently very sweaty. It's quite a warm day today. Uh, we've got Casper here now. We can do some jumping photos, I believe, with Thank you, Casper, with him today. Um, he has had a rug on, so he's not too dirty, but I do need to give him a bit of a wash now. Um, I need to get changed into a different outfit. Um, I'm not sure what colour we're going to use there. I think we 
I think we're gonna go for mulberry. I think that might look quite nice. Or I might go for Benton blue. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> Depends what colour jumps we're putting out as well, because matchy matchy. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, I need to give him a wash, tack him up, um, get ready to ride. So then it was time to clean Casper and luckily he wasn't actually too dirty. He just had a stable stain on his shoulder and also on his belly. I think a little bit on his back legs too, but I did rug him up for the night before to try and keep him clean just in his New Zealand so it was nice and light so we didn't get too hot. However, he still did have a few stains that I had to wash off. He was quite happy though, he had a hay net. He was munching on that while I was giving him a bit of a clean. Um, we also did some pole work exercises, so while we were cleaning him, they were setting that up, and I decided to go for the blue in the end. All right guys, it looks like I went for the Benetton blue in the end. I just thought it would go quite well with all the different colored poles and things. It's not really a color that clashes with stuff. Um, so anyway, yeah, we've got that on. Casper's tacked up. We've literally gone full matchy today. I thought, you know what? Might as well just go all out. So we've got the matching Charles Owen, we've got the matching Lumia boots, saddle pad, the works. Let's do some riding. <laughs> On this particular day, Casper was definitely in potato mode. He was very relaxed, laid back. Um, he did get moving a little bit with the poles, which got him a little bit more excited and things. Um, we do need to work a little bit on our straightness because I can't say we were completely straight the whole time going down there. Um, but he did actually start to pick his legs up, but it was when we actually started jumping and things that was when he perked up a little bit more but he was actually really good we got some nice <laughs> photos and then after that it was time to remove all the poles and set up a show jumping course all right guys we've just done some pole work with casper taken some photos of that now we're going to do a jumping exercise as you can see casper is fast asleep right now he's very chilled very laid back i don't know what he got up to last night i don't know if he had a party or if he slept but He's very chilled and sleepy, but I have a feeling as soon as we start jumping, he's going to um, wake up a little bit more, let's just say that. But anyway, we're um, doing an exercise. They're kind of like dog legs, so um, I think I'm going to go yellow and then I can either choose to go left to the green or right to the purple. So um, that'll be good fun, get some photos of that and um, yeah. Are you going to wake up or are you going to stay napping? Can you have a little nap? Then when we actually started jumping, Casper definitely perked up a bit, got a little bit more excited because he is definitely a show jumper, he loves his jumping. We started doing the exercise with cross poles just to get his eye in, doing the dog legs, getting warmed up, then we put them to some little uprights, he jumped it really nicely, really sweetly, we got all the lines, got all the distances and I just think he was really enjoying himself going over the jumps. And we also got some really good photos of that. That. So then it was time to, yes again, have a, another wardrobe change, this time into something a little bit brighter. Alright everybody, I think this is the last um, outfit change of the day. We're going to do some hacking pictures now, so Casper and I have our matching yellow neon high vis going on at the moment. Just putting his bridle back on after putting his little ear bonnet on. Um, we've got the citron matching for the um, my hat silk and the saddle pad. And yeah, I just need to put my gloves on and I think we're actually going to go into the donkey's old field um, or the paddock that they're, well, they're supposed to be in, but we're resting at the moment because there's like no grass in there. Um, so we're going to be riding in there because it's nice and quiet. We were going to hack through to the woods, but we'd have to go through Joey, well, where Joey and Mickey are at the moment. And well, it's Casper's vehicle, but obviously I'm riding. And we just thought there might be a little bit too busy and a bit too much commotion. So we're going to go over here instead. Just put my glove on and then we're ready to go. I think Casper's ready for a nap. Once I tacked up Casper, it was then time to jump on and ride him kind of through the hedge past the sand school to get to the donkey's winter paddock. So we took some photos of me walking, we also took some of me trotting and cantering too. And Casper was so good, especially as he found it quite exciting because I don't think I've ever really properly ridden in this field before. So he was super happy, it is, for the whole way. We didn't do too much canter though, just because the ground is a tiny bit uneven and I always like to ride on really even ground for my horses but he really loved it we got loads of really cute photos and Lucy showed me some at the end 
All right, everybody, the photo shoot is now complete. All the horses are chilling out in the field now, and I'm actually so impressed. They were all so good. We didn't actually really <laughs> take any photos of Mickey, but he was there for moral support because we're mainly doing sort of riding photos today um, for Pony Mag. Um, but before today's video ends, I just like to say a huge thank you to Lucy, the photographer, Joe, who is the editor, and also Holly for helping out. She also did some filming and things as well for Pony Mag. Um, they all helped out a lot with um, me having to do lots of sort of wardrobe changes having to sort of like change Casper and Joey's saddle pads it was also really nice to hear from um, both Holly and Lucy um, because they were actually at the photo shoot about six weeks ago I think um, it was um, but anyway it's really nice to hear from them um, saying how much um, they've can see that Joey has improved and changed like he's built a lot of muscle since then and oh my gosh it just means so much like oh just that they'd seen so much progress in Joey so yeah that was really lovely um so anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's video um I really hope you enjoyed seeing behind the scenes um of a photo shoot what it's like um if any of you have not done so already please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it um thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time bye